Hello my friends, welcome back to A Common Touch of Fantasy. My name is Paul, and today we are reviewing another Brandon Sanderson book. This is Warbreaker. I just finished Words of Radiance and I want to read Oathbringer. So that is why I read Warbreaker, because there are elements in this book that are in those books as well. This is an epic fantasy, very high fantasy book, with a court intrigue focus. It's really all about the rulers of this world, the rulers of these continents, and them manipulating each other, um, using subterfuge to get their way to start a war between different kingdoms. There's a lot of different political factions in this. And it's high fantasy because these individuals can take the breath of other people. And as they accumulate breath, they get stronger and they can get to the point where they're basically immortal. And some of the characters that we follow are these gods. And other characters can use this breath to create objects to do their bidding and to help them you know, fight and just do amazing things. So once again, the world building is very interesting. It has to do with this breath that people hold and they can get breath from other people and also about color where the breath uses the color to make things come to life. Now, this is a very focused story about the court princess that was given to this court to be the wife of this god king and to try to create peace but what ends up happening is he sends the wrong daughter the daughter that is kind of willful and things aren't quite what they seem in either of these kingdoms and everything just kind of falls apart and as we read along uh, the reader learns about what is really happening other books like this i think are the goblin emperor um, Inda and Royal Assassin. I enjoyed this book. I thought it was a lot of fun. I thought it was a lot better than what I thought it was going to be. And it was nice to see Sanderson focus on court intrigue and to do it well. If you like the court intrigue in Mistborn, you probably would like it in this book. The plot was definitely the best part of this book. I give it a four. The worst part of this book was the heart and mind aspect. I really did not connect to the characters. And this wasn't the type of book that really made you think too much. Overall, though, I enjoyed it.